Welcome. Let's discuss the idea of angle of rotational symmetry. So what is an angle of rotational symmetry? It is the smallest angle that we can find that will rotate a figure into itself. Let's take a look at the following animation to visualize this idea. So here we have four regular polygons. Let's concentrate on the triangle first. This green bar will be displaying the angle of rotation. Notice that when I'm scrolling to the right, my figure is rotating that many degrees. So let's go back to zero degrees. Now let's find an angle of rotation that will rotate the figure into itself. And whatever that angle is, then we can call that the angle of rotational symmetry. Notice that when we hit 120 degrees, the figure rotated into itself. Therefore, we can say that 120 degrees is the angle of rotational symmetry for this triangle. That's not the only angle. When I keep scrolling to the right hand side, also at 240 degrees, the triangle rotated into itself. 240 degrees can also be said as another angle of rotational symmetry. Let's keep scrolling to the right. And at 360 degrees, we also rotate it into itself. So now let's consider the square. Let's start rotating the square and let's see when it's rotated into itself. Notice that at 90 degrees, the square rotated into itself. Notice that at 180 degrees, the square rotated into itself. Notice that at 270, we also rotated it into itself. And at 360, we rotated it into itself. So all of those angles can be said to be the angle of rotational symmetry for a square. So now let's consider this figure with five sides. Let's start rotating and let's see when it rotates into itself. Notice that at 72, we got that. It happens at 144. At 216. At 288 and at 360. So all of those angles can be said to be angles of rotational symmetry for this pentagon. So now lastly, let's consider the hexagon and let's start rotating and let's see when it rotates into itself. It happens at 60 degrees, at 120, at 180, 240, 300, and 360. So now let's go back to our lesson. Now that we have visualized the idea of angle of rotational symmetry, let's understand how we were getting those angles. So let's consider the following regular polygons. And remember that for regular polygons, all angles and all sides are congruent. Now let's consider the center of this triangle. Let's connect the center point to every single vertex in this triangle. So let's consider a circle around the center point. This circle will have a total of 360 degrees. If we consider the lines that we use to connect this vertex, notice that we have broken down the circle into three equivalent pieces. My first, my second, and my third. And because all those pieces are congruent to each other, we can find the measurement for each one of them. That will be 360 divided by three which is a total of 120 degrees. Therefore, if we rotate this triangle every 120 degrees, we will rotate the figure into itself. Now let's consider our square. Let's find the center of this figure, which it's around here. Let's connect the center to every single vertex in this figure. And the same idea holds true. If we build a circle around the center point, that's 360 degrees. When I, we consider the lines that connect the center to every single vertex in this figure, notice that we have broken down the circle into four equivalent pieces. The upper, the left, the bottom, and the right. And because it's a regular polygon, then every single of those pieces are going to be congruent to each other. We can find the measurement for each one of them. 
it will be 90 degrees. So therefore, every time we rotate by a multiple of 90 degrees, we will be rotating the figure into itself. Let's consider the center of this figure, which is around here. So now let's connect that center to every single vertex in this figure. Now, if we build a circle around that center point, that will be 360 degrees. If we consider the lines that connected the center to the vertex of this figure, notice that we have broken down that circle into five equivalent pieces. One, two, three, four, and five. And because we're dealing with the regular polygon, then all of those pieces are congruent to each other. Therefore, we can find the measurement for each one of them. So what we can say is that every time we rotate by a multiple of 72 degrees, we will be rotating the figure into itself. Hello. If you would like to continue learning about mathematics, you can check out the videos on the left.